Ardha Chandrasana, or the half moon posture, is a wonderful posture for creating lots of long side length in the body, as well as a lot of strength in the body to hold you in a half moon type of position. So you'll want to find your Tadasana or mountain stance. Your feet are starting one to two fist distance apart. Once you've found that, then heel toe your feet out one space so that you have about 10 to 12 inches in between your feet. As you progress with the posture, you can walk your feet in closer, but as a beginner, this will make it a little bit easier. Root down into your feet, lift up through the crown of your head, and on your inhalation, draw your arms up and overhead into a wide V to get started. Allow your shoulders to relax and open. And then the traditional posture for your hands here is something called steeple posture. If you bring your hands together, thread the fingers together, letting the pointer fingers reach up toward the sky. For a lot of people, this is challenging on the shoulders. And we'll look at that in just a moment. Take a deep breath in and lengthen your spine. As you exhale, press your right hip out to the side as far as it will go. This will send your weight into your right foot. It'll be a lot lighter in your left foot. Take another breath in, lift up through the fingertips, and as you exhale, tip over to your left. You want to keep your ears in line with your arms as you're reaching, really rooting down into the outside of that right foot. With your next inhalation, come all the way up. And as you exhale, just open your arms wide again, Christine. Let the shoulders relax. Now, if your shoulders are tight and steeple position is hard, you can come into the posture in this wide V position. Take another deep breath in, root down into your feet. As you exhale, press your left hip out to the side as far as it will go, sending your weight into your right, into your left foot. Take a deep breath in, reach through your fingertips, and as you exhale, tip over to that right side. Draw your tailbone down slightly, lift your pubic bone a little, and engage through the abdominal wall. With your next inhalation, come all the way up, and as you exhale, release the arms forward and down. Take a moment to land in both feet, and just notice what the left and right sides of your body feel like. So this would be the more advanced version of the posture. If your shoulders are really tight, you can work into the posture something we call quarter moon. So on an inhalation, slide your right hand to your hip, press down into your feet, and inhale the left arm forward and up. This takes a lot of pressure off of the shoulders, just bringing one arm up. Take a breath in. As you exhale, press your left hip out to the side, reaching down into your left foot, and then lengthen again and tip over to the right. So this is another option for coming into this half moon posture. You still get all the length through one side of the body and the strength through the other side of the body. On your inhalation, come all the way up, and exhale, release the arms down. It's always nice after you do one side to pay attention to how one side feels versus the other. We'll come into the other side by pressing down into your feet. And this time, sliding your left hand to your hip. Inhale the right arm forward and up. Let the shoulder blade draw down and reach through the crown of your head. As you exhale, press the right hip out to the side, weight coming into that right foot. Lift through your fingertips the crown of your head and tip over to the left. Keep the sternum lifted as your shoulder blades draw down the back. On your inhalation, come all the way up. And as you exhale, release the arm down. And take a moment just to receive Ardha Chandrasana, the half moon posture. 